Live from Appleton, it's APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 536 for Thursday, April 4th, 2024. That's a lot of podcasts. This week, we have news, updates, pen club, ooh, cleaning kits, soaker glasses, broad ballpoint refills that Brian loves, sailor pilot Estabrook, a contest winner, a new contest, plus nothing that we know of that is coming soon, which is not entirely true, but... Hey, Brian. Yes. Do you have a joke for me? I do. <laughs> Um, why I don't know. do cows oh, God. produce more milk when the farmer talks to them? Happy cows, happy milk? It's kind of a case of in one ear and out the other. Oh, my God. <laughs> Justin's, Justin liked that one. Our goal, just so you know, is number one, to make you laugh, and number two, to make Justin laugh. And so it's a good day when we can make Justin laugh. Mm. Today, Thursday, April 4th, is National <laughs> School Librarian Day, uh, which they recognize as the professionals who keep the school library in working order. Yes. Organized. That's a hard job. You could have been a librarian. I would have loved to have been a librarian. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, <laughs> April 5th, is National Walk to Work Day. Make sure to wear comfortable shoes. If, it's, if that's too far, try to walk to lunch. Take a walk. I used to take a walk uh, when we were downtown. I'd take a walk around the block mm -hmm. at lunch. Yeah. Um, I would be happy to do that today, except it's snowing. Big, big flakes. Big, giant flakes. Uh, more importantly, Saturday, <laughs> April 6th is New Beer's Eve, followed the next day by National Beer Day. It's a whole weekend celebration. Okay. Uh, April 7th marks the day in 1933. The Cullen Harrison Act came into effect, which legalized the sale of beer and wine with an alcohol content of 3.2% in the United States. It's also called the Beer Permit Act. No beer. And you beer. and Dave will kick that We're off gonna start on, it on Friday. Friday. We're going to start it on Friday yes, for the, like the weekend celebration. Yes, like you always do. Yeah. Beer 30 on Friday. Uh, news, Appleton Pen Club, uh, upcoming on Saturday, April 20th from 2 to 4 p.m., we are doing spring cleaning for your pens. So bring in some pens that you need to be cleaned. Um, we will help you clean the first one and then we will supervise the rest. Yeah, so we'll have the ultrasonic out and some water and whatever. Pen flush, pen bulb flush, syringes, yeah. show you how to use all that mm -hmm. stuff, show you a couple tips and tricks and just make sure that uh, when you leave, number one, you have some clean pens, so you can re-ink them and number two, you go home confident that you can do this at home. So there you go. Uh, we've got some pens on sale. Yes, the Kuretake brush pens are now on sale. They were $4.50, and now they are $2.50. $2 Lindsay loves these. So there's four different sizes, uh, essentially extra fine through broad on the brush tips. Yeah, different colors. Yeah. So yeah, each. Crinkly. <laughs> Sorry. When I found out my toaster wasn't waterproof, I was shocked. All right, just This is all you. In. This is all you. So, you know, a couple weeks ago, I was gushing about our desk savers that we've been playing with and finally started to sell. So we're doing the same thing with what we call our soaker glass. And yes, it's an acrylic shot glass. It's a, it's a nice one, though. Yeah. Um, it's a nice one. We debated whether or not to go with glass or plastic, and um, Brian was very happy that we went with plastic because he opened no. the box and one immediately fell on his foot. Yes, and one immediately crazy. fell out, <laughs> literally on my shoe. Uh, um, so these will not break. That was fun. Um, crack, chip, whatever. Yep. Um, these are, do you have a nib unit? I don't have a nib Take unit. one off a pen. I, I don't. I, I'm not taking a nib. Well, no. Right there. You can take the section. Oh, take the section off. All right. So these are really great for soaking a nib and feed, because and they section. are. And and you can include the section. So they are more than long enough. Yeah, they're tall. More than tall taller. enough. Um, they do have a, a pretty sturdy base, but they are plastic. So these are not intended. And I know some of you want to do this, but don't do it. These are not intended for the whole thing to sit in there. 
Yeah. But um, fill it with cold water, fill it with pen flush, um, gently drop your nib and feed section, whatever, in there. And this can just soak. Um, these are dishwasher safe, which is great. Um, but it's really kind of like a little spa for your nibs. It can just kind of nib. soak. No, it's actually a, a, it's a very nice size. It's just tall enough because a lot of a lot of a lot of um, shot glasses are too short. Yes, you can't put a whole nib unit in there, and you can fit actually uh, two or three nib units in here. So if you put Yovo nibs, if Yovo nibs or something similar to that, you can fit three or four nibs in there even and soak them all at once. And while you're thinking, oh, I have a shot glass at home, but it's probably either something you might use to drink out of or that souvenir shot glass from your spring break trip of 1985. You don't want to use that one. Um, and you, you definitely... Um, you went on spring break in 1985? Moving forward. <laughs> Moving forward. <laughs> but you don't necessarily want to use the same glass to drink out of that you use to put something that has ammonia in it. Yeah, yeah, this is, so, this is an easy choice. Quick, easy, cheap, yep. but works perfectly. So there so, you go. In, uh, in uh, tandem with that, uh, we've just come up with uh, what we call AP cleaning kit, which includes your bottle of pen flush. Full bottle of pen flush. Your uh, bulb syringe. Your two pack of, two pack of ink syringes. And, and then you get a new glass. soaker glass. So when we give them a little discount on that, uh, if you buy it as a set. As a kit, yep. yep. So. Perfect. And this is all you. So yes. we've we've had these. Um, what are we talking about? Cross ballpoint refills in broad. It's the most stimulating subject ever. And cross ballpoint refills. Those of you of a certain age probably all received a cross ballpoint yep. for your um, high school graduation, your confirmation. Um, they were very, very popular um, for many, many years. And the refill that comes in them is it's less than stellar. It's not as satisfying as it should be, yeah, in my it's, opinion. It's kind of sucky. I, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't want to say that, but I'm being honest. But recently, we discovered you, know, you can actually get them in broad. Uh, they come in two packs, black and blue. Uh, and I'm thinking, well, I, how bad can how it bad be? Can it's it be? kind of a so I've got one of my phrase. Uh, one of my uh, my father's old. Uh, original cross centuries actually made in the USA and I put the broad refill in there and we do a lot of um, writing on uh, packages and different cardboard and you know all sorts of things so a ballpoint around here is necessary this is amazing this broad ballpoint refill transforms the whole cross ballpoint experience if you've ever had a cross and you couldn't stand it you get to try this try refill. This. you get to try this refill it's amazing um, and it's, you know it's, it's the standard screw um, Standard screw in cross ballpoint refill. Long skinny screw in yeah. that everybody knows. Yeah. And groans when you put it in because you know it's going to be kind of laggy and pasty. Yeah. For me, the funniest thing is to have Brian be like super excited. Well, I can use this pen now. You, you think you know, that Mark I, Cavendish had won a stage of something? You were so excited. <laughs> let's, let's, not, let's not let's not go overboard. <laughs> Uh, but no, it's, and I can use this pen and not, you know, normally I'd pick up a cross and be like, oh, okay, it's a cross if I have to. With this, I really actually like Because it. of the refill. The refill. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll fit most cross ballpoint pens except the click, the cross X, the edge, or the tech three plus. Um, I don't know why it doesn't fit in those, but um, yeah, those are different. But yeah. so it's a standard cross ballpoint refill in uh, broad. It is a two pack. So these are going to last you for a long time. And don't forget that um, cross ink is archival, which means it has a pH level that's neutral, acid-free, been formulated to resist fading over time. Um, the other nice thing is that if you have one of the cross century, um, the skinny ones, these also fit really well in a planner yeah. or yeah. Um, something that has a thinner uh, pen loop. And so if you've been struggling with what to put in your, like your Hobonichi, Get out um, this that you know you have yeah, shoved I'm, in a drawer I'm, somewhere. I'm thrilled as punch that I, <laughs> I, that I can finally use these pens and not and not. Well, many of them are your dad's. Yeah, they're my, my father's pens, and I'd like to be able to use them. But yeah. you know, he and apparently he was. This was his favorite. There, were, I literally have three of this exact same cross century. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I'm pleased as punch. And it's just such a nice, nice refill. Uh, it's, it's, wow. It has also caused a little uh, drama in our house because I have a cross somewhere. classic century in copper that I know I have somewhere. I had it in Chicago. I don't, it's in a box yeah. somewhere still. And so I have been, we both have been looking for this thing every day. We found all sorts of other cool stuff. Yeah, um, not the pen. Not the pen. But now I'm dying to put that in there, so. We'll find it. We'll find it. All uh, right, what else Also, you got? this week, I've got a couple of new experience pens. We've got a couple of new uh, vintage fountain pens up, but we've got some also some experience pens. Um, to just give you a sneak peek here. Uh, the Sailor Promenade. This is a very interesting model. Uh, similar to a 1911, however, the ends are more rounded off, similar to a, a Platinum 3776. Um, and this has this really kind of cool grid work clip. Uh, solid, solid 14 karat gold, extra fine nib on this one. Um, the old style nib, of course. But So we've got a Sailor Promenade in black. It's a really cool pen. Um, and then uh, dialing, dialing it back a few years before that, we've got the Sailor Lifetime pen. This is another Lifetime. We've had some of these before. These are before, uh, before they called it a 1911. And it's got the trim ring on the, on the end of the section. Oh, very cool. Uh, that old, cool, very plain style yeah. anchor logo nib, really, really nice. Um, so we got that. 14 karat? 14 karat, yeah. Yeah, we got a, a 3776. Uh, this is a chart, uh, Chartray Blue with rhodium trim uh, with a medium nib. Uh, this actually was a tester here for a while. Um, and then uh, last but certainly not least, uh, I have an interesting pen here. This is a Smoke 823. Pilot a custom 823, 14 karat medium nib. This was also was a tester for a while. Uh, interestingly enough, it has a, um, a a cap that's for a 742 in smoke. So it's an 823 for sure, but a 7 uh, 742 cap, which is interesting. But so it's sort of a Franken pen. Uh, but it's smoke, so I mean yeah. it fits. I mean it's it went. Yeah, it goes. So I don't know why we have have that, but uh, that was a tester here as well. So those are a couple of experience pens this week. Um, I love spring cleaning. I love this. Going through things and de-stashing some of our duplicate testers and we'll see what else we come up with next week. What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can't opener. Uh, spotlight this week is Sailor Ink. Um, these used to be called the Gentle Line and now they're not. Um, but they come in the uh, the 50 mil cube, the cube. bottle. They redesigned um, the bottle a couple years ago. Uh, black, blue, and blue black. The black is a nice dark black. Uh, the blue black is really pretty. It's it's not a uh, like you don't question whether or not it's blue or it's black. It's you know some blue blacks get really dark or really gray. This is a pretty one, and the blue is a gorgeous the best. one the best. of my favorite yeah. blues. Um, and in a nib that gives you some pooling, it's got a little bit of red sheen. A little bit of red sheen, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. rinses yeah, out easily. And the price, is, the price is right. Ridiculous. Really a great value. And uh, I like that the bottle is sturdy because I'm really clumsy. And so yeah. I struggle to tip it over, which is a good thing. Um, also this week we've got... <laughs> I'm going to keep moving on that yeah. one. Uh, this week we've got the uh, Spotlight and Pilot Custom Heritage SE. Um, and uh, this is a, a kind of a cool pen that came out a number of years ago. It's available in orange, green, blue, and black. Um, and is a stunning marble colored resin body with the rhodium, rhodium trim. I do love that marbling. It's nice. It's nice. The green is lovely. Um, number five, 14 karat rhodium plated nib, just like on the Custom 74. So this is basically a Custom 74 size but with the custom heritage with the flat, yeah. the flat ends and then the, the sword clip. Love the nib. Um, comes with a Con 70 push button converter. And uh, just remember that uh, these are, um, these are what, fine, medium only. Uh, they do have a tendency to run, uh, being Japanese, they run on the fine side. So yes. um, if, you're, if you really like broad nibs and medium is where you're gonna have to go on that. Yep. So nice, uh, beautiful pens. This green is. This is the same same material they use on the Vanishing Point SE. Yes, uh, which is gorgeous. Really, really great. I love this this color. So cool. Uh, 
we talked a little bit about this last week when I was talking about my um, favorite spring inks, but Esterbrook Shimmer Tangerine uh, Bottled Ink. Rich, bright shade of orange. Um, I like orange ink because it's just happy and sunny. Um, this has a little bit of shimmer, uh, actually a good bit of shimmer. It's a fair bit. Yeah. Um, but just a really pretty color, and if you're looking for uh, an ink to try, try this. Yeah. I love it. Definitely one of those you want to you gently love a lamp, your, your pen, when if you've got it in there. Yes, because it's going to be it's pretty. very glittery uh, at the bottom, because as you may or may not know, shimmer particles will settle like salad dressing, so you need to agitate it. Uh, but just a really pretty color, and if you just want to add a little pop of uh, detail, Try the shimmer. Uh, also, pop a color. These are fun. Uh, and this is cool. This is cool that. You know, I don't know why. So somebody does this. Uh, what are we talking more about? More people should do this. I is think. sailor colored converters. Um, and so they come with the, the piston knob, is different color on all these. And so uh, pink, red, light brown, yellow, lime green. <laughs> Green, blue, and purple. The purple isn't cool. I like that purple one. Uh, so if you've got if you've got a sailor, or maybe you've got a compass, or you've got a, a transparent 1911 or Pro Gear, um, and you want to see the color, you can get a colored converter. Uh, of course, silver hardware um, with that turning knob, and it fits all sailors except for the uh, Shalanas, of course. And, and the, the slim, slim mini won't yep. fit. Um, or if you're matchy matchy and you can never remember what ink you've got in there, you oh. could get a couple, and this way you know that you've got a blue ink or a green ink. And then you put your you put your little sailor sticker yes. on the converter with the number. Um, you know the you other have. thing is that these are actually um, cheaper than the regular uh, sailor converter with the gold or the silver hardware. Is that so? Yeah. Well, hot. Diggity. <laughs> but you know, it's it's fun <laughs> to have a little color. Let me see these. Let me see what and you got. So blue? I got blue and green. Let me green. see the blue. Well, if blue you nice. have a clear pen, you can see the converter. Some people like that. Kind of matches. Uh, or if you don't, it's just fun to open it up and it's like, oh, isn't that yeah. a cute little I always I always thought, you know, it, it's 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 cool to have it's sort of like, you know, you if you wear you know, you have the. the Are we going to talk about underwear? Well, I, I, <laughs> I realized that was probably a bad choice, so I, mo I was moving over to the the, the, the dress coat okay. with the the funky colored okay. liner. I thought we were going to underwear. Well, this, you know, this is a family. I know show, that's Mr. why Anderson. I went to the dress coat, but you know, it's you've got something fun inside, and only you know. And sometimes that's kind of <laughs> that's sometimes that's kind of fun. Like anyway. underwear. Goodness, we had a contest last week. Yes, and so last week we asked, do you like, use, collect, etc. pencils? And you will see my Arushi pencil. That's one of them. The other, one, the other one's red, yeah. the other reverse. It's more red than green, I think. I, I have two more. One is green and one is red, I believe, and I couldn't find them this morning, so I do have two others somewhere. They're with the cross ballpoint. I can't believe, I can't believe you. I sharpened <laughs> did, it. Did, did like angels start screaming when you started going through the Arushi? Because that's a, a mad, well, what I would imagine. I was a little nervous, but <laughs> but it's a pencil. Use the good china. So this sits on my desk and I use it almost every day. Uh, Liz Colton says, you're looking fantastic, Lisa. You always have. Thank Love you. the ideas for cleaning out pens. It is always helpful. I use a pencil every day at work. I like both wood and mechanical pencils. I'm very picky about erasers. Oof. Another rabbit hole to go down. I usually don't use the eraser that's on the pencil. Yeah, and that's that's kind of, I'm there too. Like when we sell pencils, I like to, if you want an eraser, because I know some people use, they have, you know, what do you call it? Just a regular square eraser or something. They have their preferences. And yeah. It's impossible to it get erasers for some vintage It is a whole different pencils. rabbit rabbit yeah. hole. Yeah. Because you've got gum erasers and you've got art erasers and you've got all sorts of stuff. I know nothing of yeah. that sort. Well, the only thing I know is what we used to, I used to have to buy for our daughter. The, um, pink, the pink ones? The pink They're ones slanted. with the angled ends. Yeah. There's a white one. I love those. That um, is, feels kind of plasticky. Mm. Um, but yeah, we spent a lot of money on Lindsay's art supplies over the years. And it just got to be, here's money, go to the art store. Because <laughs> I don't know what it is. Tara R. says, I just snatched up the Parker True Blue. That is a cool one. 
Um, I use pencils way more than I use my pens, so I'm glad you showed this. Cool. Uh, Kathy Cullen Stern says, congrats, Lisa. I have Thank a few you. special pencils. I have a Parker Jotter pen and pencil set from the 90s. Recently, I picked up a Retro 51 pencil. The design is Sudoku, which is a puzzle I do every day. I also have a few Papermate pencils that nice. I, used when I, I used when I was teaching. Yeah, Papermate was Very big cool. back in the day. Yep. Uh, Sethi Shrau says, no, I don't use or collect pencils. But after looking at how gorgeous and cute those pocket pencils from Schaefer are, I won't be surprised if I start collecting them. I think there's one left. Yeah. There's still one left. Dana Crouch says, I have two math degrees, so I'm a big fan of mechanical cool. pencils when I'm working problems, but I don't have any fancy pencils. Another rabbit hole to go down one day. Uh, and, you know, the thing about it is, and I said this before, on uh, we did Sunday brunch Esprit pencils that I don't collect. That um, you have 170-something of? 50. 157? Four. 174? Okay. I bought four more. Ah! Uh, they're, uh, they're inexpensive. <laughs> they're inexpensive. <laughs> There were there were some Esterbrook pencils in the mailer, and before the mailer went out, I took four. Oh. I was shopping the stash. Okay. All right. Uh, bonus comment from Paul Herman says, good morning. Happy World Piano Day on March 28th. Um, Paul, I love that you send in a joke every week. I really do. Why is an 11-foot concert grand better than a studio upright? And the answer, because it makes a much bigger kaboom yeah. when dropped over a cliff. Yeah. Nice. Uh, Paul says, I currently have three mechanical pencils, a gray Esterbrook, an imprinted Eversharp with a former local business, a cement plant that I've heard is now closed, and a no-name. All from around the 1950s, and for some reason, all take a .9 lead in modern numbers. Mm -hmm. Cool. You got lucky there. Esterbrook is trying to compete, complete my gray Esterbrook J series um, collection in honor of my first fountain pen, a gray Esterbrook J. And the other two are from the desk of a friend's uncle that were given to me. Very cool. Still trying to get the matching Esterbrook ballpoint, though I don't use a ballpoint in the least. <laughs> Got to complete the set. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we had a winner. Uh, winner is uh, Jim, uh, Zeus 5245 2. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I, You're stuck on I that. read that. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Uh, Jim says, no, I'm really not a pencil collector, but I do have a few. I was recently gifted a mechanical pencil missing the cap that goes over the eraser that came with a 1943 first quarter Parker Gray Pearl Vacuumatic. Cool. My last modern mechanical pencil is a pent-up carry. I like it because I can't rip my shirt pockets even by accident. And that's, yes. that's absolutely correct. Uh, Jim, congratulations. Uh, send an email to eric at andersonpens.com. He will take care of getting that $20 credit onto your Anderson Pens account. And All you can right. get yourself a, another vintage pencil. There you go. Or lead. Or lead. Uh, new contest question is, do you rotate your pens for the different seasons? So last uh, couple weeks ago, we talked about different ink for different seasons. Um, when you are cleaning your pens, like you should, uh, do you rotate them out for different seasons? Like, do you have springy pens? Do you have fall pens? Do you not pay attention? How about you? Uh, no, I don't really pay attention, but I think I will, I, I'm going to change out my vanishing point this week. From what to what? Well, something to something else. I've got a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a rod vanishing point, uh, and I might, I might change it out for another one. For another rod? For another rod. Oh my God. First world <laughs> that, problems. Is that, is, does Rager? that qualify? No. No. <laughs> well, yeah, I like to use them. I used to carry all of them with me, all four of them. So, you know, I'd Okay. go to pen shows and. They all, they, all, they all have medium nibs. <laughs> so you just grab one. Yeah. So. Um, I used to. I am trying to de-stash and get down to uh, just one pen case, one 12 pen pen case that I can fit 13 or 14 Thanks, in. thanks for the clarification. I'm trying to get down to one pen case too. 96. No, it's about yeah. five feet tall. And... Yeah. No, I'm trying to, <laughs> to really Marie Kondo my collection and get down to the ones that I only use. Um, that I reach for. There's no point, to me, there's no point in having, you know, drawers full of pens that I don't look at, that I don't use. Um, so. I get rid of some. Some of these are mine. Okay. The promenade, that's my pen. Not, somebody buy it, please, so it's not his pen. It's an extra fine nib. It's a yeah. lovely extra fine nib. Yeah. But it's the only, literally the only extra fine nib I actually own. Uh, so. And a modern pen. Anyway, do you rotate your pens for the seasons? Um, let us know, yes or no, and why. 
Awesome. There you go. One commenter will be chosen at random to win a $20 credit on his or her Anderson Benz account. Uh, I think that's it for this week. Do we have anything else? I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cool.